What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Season. I am back with another video. This time, I have a international snack box from Munch Pack. Guys, I am super excited to try all of the new snacks that are in this box. They're from all over the world. If you are new here to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you drop me a like on this video and leave me a comment. So, I'll see you guys in the video. big box of snacks and as you can see it is a monthly subscription service that you get y'all i had this for a while not for a long time but you know i had it for a while i forgot to do it but i'm here now so featuring your munch pack it lets you know all of the snacks that you have and where they are from in the world okay so i got the original munch pack so they have three different sizes one is a mini the original in the family box i got this originally so me and drew could do the video but he's been at work and he don't have time to do the video so you know i had to do it myself but the next one y'all i'll make sure to bring him in on it because y'all know he likes snacking too so i'm gonna get into what's in my box and then I will read to you guys where it's from. And this is what it looks like. Oh, I just dropped my, my Dots Home Style Pretzels. So, I'll start with these. Okay. So, the Dots Home Style Pretzels twists are dusted with a top secret seasoning blend, giving them unique, unforgettable flavor. In every bite, you get a swirl of buttery, sweet, and spicy tang. These are from the United States. I never heard of Dots Pretzel, so this is going to be my first time trying them. If I can open it. I should have bought some scissors. God dang it. Okay, off top, they smell funny. It smell like a, uh, it smell like a crayon, but I'm, I'm gonna taste it. Oh, these are good. It's good, but you know how, hold on, wait, the flavor's changing. Okay, it kind of tastes like a crayon too. I never ate a crayon before, but y'all know how y'all can smell stuff and then you can taste it. That's kind of what it's giving. Okay, now the spice is coming. Okay. This pretzel got a lot. This pretzel got a lot going on. Uh, I'm going to give it another try. Okay. Um. Did it say it's cheese? So it's a buttery, sweet, and spicy tang. These are some very interesting pretzels. I probably wouldn't buy them. It's, um. It can be like an everlasting gobstopper. Remember in Willy Wonka when she ate, when she put the gobstopper and she was like, mmm, roast beef. And then she was like, blueberry pie, asparagus. Like, it's giving way too many flavors than what I like in a pretzel. Just give me a pretzel with some salt on it. Or I do like them little honey mustard pretzels. But, I mean, for somebody who likes flavorful pretzels, um, it could be good for you. I don't know. <coughs> Ooh, the spice getting to me. 
Okay, so next, guys, I have Regent Cheese Rings. So this is what they look like. These are from the Philippines, and it says, what's better than cheese balls? Cheese rings. These salty, savory, crunchy, and just a tiny bit sweet rings from Regent are sure to be your new snack addiction in no time. So, so far, I mean, I really like the bag. It really draws you in. These are from the Philippines. And, yeah, I can't wait to taste them. I have a lot of sweet stuff in here, too. I probably should have. Damn, they got this stuff still good. smell like cheese puffs they look like this little cheese rings oh these are good um if y'all have ever had hers honey cheese puffs it tastes like that but it's not as sweet those other cheese puffs can be from hers a little overpowering, but like this have like just enough sweetness in it. Hmm. I like these. Next we have Vidal or Vidal gummies. Spooky spiders. And these are from Spain. It don't say if they sour, but I'm gonna imagine that they are. And this is what they look like. I'm gonna put the whole thing in. They not sour. I was expecting them to be a little sour. Mm. This is a regular gummy. These are really good. I'm gonna put some of them in my purse. You know when your blood sugar drop when you a little when you out. I put them up in my purse. Okay, I'm on to really try these. So y'all, it's a lot of. They give me a lot of sweet stuff, and I actually really kind of feel bad for opening all of this. But these are Jammy Dodgers Mini. So these are Burton's Jammy Dodgers delightful mini cookies. With two layers of delicious shortbread and a fruity jam filling that can be gazed at through the heart-shaped hole on the top of the biscuit. And these are from the UK. I hope we got some... I don't usually like things with jam in them. But I can't even tell what color jam this is. It's like orange... I hope it's not apricot jam, but this was a little cookie. Mmm. Okay, so. The jam is really gooey. Almost like. It gives me like a fig Newton, but with a shortbread cookie. Mmm. I don't know what kind of jam this is. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Then I really don't, you know, care for jam too much. But it's good for when you're in the bind, you know. Okay, these look so good. These look so good. These are Ulcer. Bisque cream cookies from Turkey. It says we're nutty about these cookies made from hazelnuts and filled with cocoa cream. These are the cookies you'll come back to even if you don't have the milk to dump them into. Just off the packaging and what they got going on here. Can y'all see? These look good. I can't hold on. Let me open these. And y'all might have to hide my snacks from Andrew because. Y'all know he be trying to steal my stuff. Okay. So, 
it just looks like a regular cookie so i'm assuming that all of the goodness is in the inside so i'm going to take a bite mm. just as good as i imagine them being mm-hmm hope oh, i like these These are really good, guys. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. Okay, best cream cookies. I don't have no water, nothing, Jesus. Hold up, y'all. I need some water. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, I'm back. Now, I have these Sour Power Straws. And these are passion fruit flavor. And these are from the Netherlands. It says, so sour, you pucker your face hard enough and feel it clenching. These candies are super sour. They also have super sweet passion fruit flavor to them to make the sour so worth it. They make me seem like they real sour. I wonder if it giving sour straw. Because if it is, sour straw is not that sour. But to all my people in the Netherlands. Because I got followers all over the world. Shout out to all my people in the Netherlands. Let me see how sour. Alright, they smell sour. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's not that big. But it has a lot of the coating all over it. Mmm. goodness it's not real sour but it got a little punch to it i really like these the passion fruit flavor these are so good and it says it's gmo and gelatin free are these vegan mmm I'm putting these in my purse too. Okay. I need to find out how I can get some more of those. Those are really good. Okay, the Netherlands. What should I do next? I just got like a lot of candy. Like kind of candy stuff left. Let's do... Okay. I have... Okay, these are vegan. These are Manamim Hazelnut waver, Wafers. They're super light and flaky wafer treat. It's smothered in deliciously rich milk chocolate that is slightly sweeter and more tangy than your average candy bar. So, being that they're hazelnut, these are probably going to taste good. Because I like the little wafers, you know, that your grandparents used to get. From the dollar store. I think they used to be strawberry or vanilla. I used to tear them up. So I can only imagine. That this is pretty much the same. Type of thing. And let me just open them. Yeah so these look. Okay these are much bigger. What's going on? Okay, let me break it. Damn. So this is pretty much the same thing a wafer. It smells the same as the ones you get here in the United States. Um, only thing I never seen hazelnut, so I imagine that this is good. Yup, it's the same damn thing. Yep. I haven't been eating candy lately, but I'm probably going to get... Oh, wait, it's upside down. It's upside down. Child, I don't know how to read um, Israeli. But I'm probably going to get these to my grandmother so she can have a little something, something to snack on. And, um, yeah. 
All right, guys. So the next thing that we have up is sweet and strashy Tella wafers from Bulgaria. It says to try this delectably light wafer cookie with the smoothest milk cream filling and sweetest chocolate chips stuff on the inside. So I'm assuming that this is the same type of wafer that we just had. This one is just white and cookies and cream. And that's what this one looks like. You can see the little chocolate chips in it. And this, I got wafer dust everywhere. On the level of this crusty wafer to neutral grain bar. How much is your life falling apart right now? Mmm. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, so, the wafer part is still the same. When you bite into it, it's not like a, like a usual wafer that you would taste. It's very creamy. Let me show you where I took my bite. So, like, let me see. Yeah, when you bite into it, it feels like cheesecake. Like you're biting into a piece of cheesecake. The cream tastes like cheesecake. Um, it's very sweet. Very, very, very sweet. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Okay, so that went down the wrong way. Um, it's it's really sweet. It tastes like cheesecake. Um, it don't taste like cookies or cream to me, but it is good. I'll give it that. And this is from Bulgaria. So we have another snack, which if you live in the U.S., I'm pretty sure you've seen these. I've never had a cow tail before. But I see these candies all the time in the store. This one is strawberry smoothie. And this one is a caramel brownie. And like I said, these are from the United States. So, I'm going to try my first cow tail. Okay, sticky. The strawberry one, it smells good. And this is what it looked like. It's uh like strawberry and cream. It has a weird flavor to it. I don't think these are the original. I think the original Kaltos I see in the store like orange or something. This is a caramel brownie one. This tastes like a damn Tootsie Roll. Mm. I guess I'll just go ahead and chew it up. I don't really eat candy like that, y'all, so. It's not giving me, you know. So, guys. Next, we have Tango Chubby's Blue Raspberry. And these are also from the UK. So we got these Chewies, bruv. I'm going to try these out, bruv. You know. Shout out to everybody in the UK. And I feel like these are going to go in my purse too. You know when people be asking, do you got a piece of candy? I do. If I can open it. All right. So it's about this big. It just says Chewbies on it. Chewbies. How would they pronounce Chewbies in the UK? 
shoe base. Shoe base. Shoe base. My bruv, let me get a shoe bee. A shoe bee. So it look like a nail later. Or um that's hard as hell. I'm gonna hit a suck one. Damn! I'm trying to work it around. It tastes like a, um, like a nail later. These actually say that these are mini, so I can't imagine how much, how big the regular size one is. These just give me nail later. Really good. And the last thing that I got in my box was a soda. And I believe that this is a banana flavored soda from Japan. This is going to be my first time trying Japanese soda. Uh, my first time trying a banana flavor soda, which is... Whoa, pretty interesting. Okay. So, I guess that was the top that just fell off. No, it wasn't the top. Well, anyway, hold on. Because y'all know I'm forever dropping something. Okay, that wasn't the top. So, if you take that little piece off, you can see the juice. I thought that it was going to be something that you could suck. But, and it probably is. It definitely probably is. Hold on, guys. Let me see. Well, how do you drink it? How do you open this? It don't give me directions on how to open it. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me see. No. Hold up, y'all. I got a friend that's over in Japan right now, so I'm about to call him and see if he can help me open this, and then I'll be right back. <laughs> Japanese people, y'all are so innovative. Y'all made me, I had to call halfway around the world to figure out how to open this bottle. So y'all, shout out to my boy B. Y'all just seen him. I just tagged him when he was giving me this tutorial in the video. Well, I ain't tag him, but y'all see him. He was just waving, saying hi to y'all. So let me show y'all how to open this. Y'all know how here in the United States, you twist the bottle counterclockwise. We twist, hold up, how do we open the bottle? Hold up. Wait, how do we open bottles? Is it? Why was I twisting it that way? Why was I twisting it counterclockwise? Okay. I'm slow. But anyway, y'all couldn't get it open. So, it was a little ball and stuff in here. Now I can't get the bottle closed. But anyway, if y'all can see, this little ball was keeping the soda closed. So when you finally get the cap open, the ball drops in i guess it flavors the soda so my friend told me that this is called a rakuten bottle and that you can seal it back up it's basically like a squirt bottle i don't know why i keep twisting this thing the wrong way anyway guys this is my first time trying a japanese soda it's banana flavor so here goes nothing it took me long enough to get it open so Oh yeah, it's good. It just tastes like a um a banana flavored like um Fanta or something. I don't know the brand, but I mean it's not bad. It tastes like a banana now later. If you don't like bananas, then I mean it's not bad. I don't know what food you would pair with a banana soda, but hey. Guys, 
So that was my review of the Munch Pack with our international snacks from all over the world. And yeah, that was it. If you're interested, then y'all gonna have to go find them on your own because this is not a sponsored video. Okay, bye.